Hello, everybody. What's up, guys? So today, we may have a little excursion for you that you've never been on before. Um, we are at a friend's house, or friend's place, and he runs, what's the place? Wildfire Retix. Wildfire Retix. So if you don't know what that means, We're let's with a go for awesome a little look-see. <laughs> So what would you think if that was on a four of like a hundred and forty? <laughs> Yikes! It's me. Not your food. Not food. I don't do that with any other snake, by the way. Do you just do that to let him smell you? To her. I won't do that with Did her. she just his? No, yeah. she breathed. Oh. oh. So at this size, you hear him breathe. Sure. Um, I won't do this with any other snake that I have. This is Diamond. I've had Diamond since she was much, much smaller. And her name is Diamond for a reason. This is literally the jewel of my collection. Um, if I had to get rid of every other snake I have, I would still keep this one. Really? Wow. She seems really upset. She does. Come here. So this is Weston, owner of Wildfire Retail. What's up, guys? Come on. And this is Diamond, who he is pulling out of her cage. And how much does she weigh? Probably around 115, 120 pounds. She's wow. uh, uh, five years old, going on six years old. Um, and she is about 16 feet long. And she has absolutely the best disposition of any snake that I have. And what does that mean? She's never struck at me in her entire life. And obviously she's climbing up and trying to hang out like, but, she, but she's, no malice. She's super, super curious like all retics are. So this what she's displaying. This is typical. Retics, you let them out of their enclosure. They're curious. They want to crawl around. Um, part of why I'm doing this with her right now, you can see how much of a sausage she has going on right there. That is all waste that needs to come out. Okay. So I'm gonna let her crawl around a little bit and uh, get some exercise. So hopefully that will come out um, when uh, when they get too many meals stacked on top of each other sometimes. And again, because we have issues with humidity here in Colorado, sometimes they get a little dehydrated, even with plenty of water. And I even soak all of her rabbits before I feed her, but she still sometimes gets a little little backed up. So give her some give her some time to. Just kind of roll around and hang out, and hopefully that will that will come out. Mm -hmm. Don't need to. She's just slide all over everything. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. there it goes. Yep. Come on. Josh. Josh. Come on, guys. Let's go. Gotta make her feel better. Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, yeah. It's, it's gonna be a big one. I know. <laughs> oh, So what all do you feed her? She mainly eats rabbits. That's what most of the big ones eat, is rabbits. Um, oh, she's got a ton more. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of why sometimes um, she gets a little backed up. The hair from the rabbits oh. gets real stuck. Um, another solution I have is I'll feed her a pig. Pigs have no hair. Yeah. And it's just skin, and that's a real, real loose one. That just comes out. So, this is a juvenile. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
You know, a lot of people ask me what my fascination is with snakes. Uh huh. That's the only animal in the world that eats its entire prey, all of its food, one sitting, swallows it whole, and uses all of it. Yeah. Everything else takes bites out of it. They sure. might eat it down to the bones. Nah, these guys eat everything. It's literally nature's perfect predator. So this is what happens when you have a snake, a baby snake who doesn't eat. This is called force feeding. It's a lot easier with two people than one, but... So this guy literally just doesn't want to eat on his own. And so literally... We gotta shove his prey down his esophagus, being very careful not to puncture anything. And these tweezers aren't the best because they got grips to them. So... And he likes to twist up and whatever. And most people would say, why, why wouldn't you just put him down or, you know, whatever. Um, he, I normally would do that at this point, but somebody here has developed an affinity for this little dude. He's a so, sweet snake, man. So we keep him, we keep him going. Come on, bro. But yeah, if you don't have two people trying to stretch his body out like this, he'll literally coil up and then you can't get anything down him or he'll regurgitate his food and whenever snakes regurgitate food that's a really bad sign yeah. yeah so they all start out this small i mean that's what the thing that blows most people away is that they literally all start out this size and grow into that and she's just chill yeah she's chill yeah, trying like to poop. When she first got out, she wanted to run. <laughs> then it's like. Yeah. Well, the floor is nice and cool too, sure. so that mellows them out a lot. You can already see him like on the bottom here trying to twist up on me. And it just makes it so much harder to get anything down their gullet if they're all twisted up. Oh, yeah, you can see him there. Yep. Literally see him making his way down. No, you can't go over there. How far uh -huh. do you have to get him down? Oh, uh, about a quarter to half. half. Yeah, third. Just to make sure that they don't regurg any of them up. Okay. So we're about to <laughs> witness an extremely humongous snake come out of its cage. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but yeah. like initially she was starting to nudge. Yeah, she yes. This, and as soon as I sprayed that, she's like, fuck that. So this is Nefertiti? Yeah. And she oh, is. She just doesn't want to come out. And this is what she does every time. <laughs> this is what she does every time. This is what retics do, man. They don't want to go, they don't want to come out of their cage, and then they don't want to go back in it. Sure. And she is how big? She's 20 feet, four inches. She's 222 pounds. Huh. Ah, she weighs more than I do. Yeah, she weighs more than I do. Okay. okay. How you doing? We're going to back away slowly. How you doing? Yeah. Come on. You're coming out. I think. Yeah. Has she ever... She struck at me, oh yeah. She yeah. definitely struck at me. Yeah, she's come out hot before. Yeah, and I mean, she's an animal, bro, that oh, yeah. you you have to- Respect. Yeah, yeah. utterly respect. Yeah, I'm gonna respect I got the it. distance. Yeah. What are you doing today, huh? You just, you just wanna stay in there. Even though it kinda needs fucking, it needs changed. See, Joe's got gloves on. Huge gloves. Welding gloves. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get bit. I see you. I know you see me. Coming. Coming. Come on. Come on. 
It's not that time. I know you know that now. What does she think's happening? No, she knows food's not happening. She just is fighting me because she doesn't want to. Doesn't want to leave. Coming out hot by your leg, Joe. I got her. Wow. So for size comparison. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Thanks for that. It's honestly it looks like a workout. So, but what? come towards me. Like so like. Look, you got bigger hands than I do. No, yeah, like... Put your hand down this to her head. Seven big steps is her body. Massive And this is... That's a tumor. Yeah, no. It's benign. And he's... Not cancerous, but... Wow. She's had it since before I got her. And, uh, so how long have you had her? I've only had her for about a year. So, she's 14 years old. The guy that got her, walked her locally from a pet shop, but she was a hatchet. Fish. Sure. And he just had her as a pet. We had her and a couple other snakes. Well, in uh, the area of Metro Denver that he lives, there's an ordinance, no snakes over seven feet. Sure. And his neighbors called him into animal control. And they showed up and gave me 30 days to get rid of her. And I'm about the only person in the state who trusted to take this animal. Sure. So, so now that you've got her out of the cage, now she's calm. She's calmer. Um, you know, like I said, there's still the smell of, of food in the air. Sure. So I'm just, the fact that she's just sitting, I'm perfectly okay with that. Right. This is how we get this done in the most efficient way possible. Sure. He cleans that out. I stand here and watch her and make sure that she doesn't try to hunt one of us down. And uh, yeah, we put her back in. So Every now you... and then she'll she'll you know actually crawl around and, and take advantage, but she doesn't she doesn't move a whole lot unless you start messing with her. Um, did you explain why Jaws is in the office? I did not. So why is Jaws in the office? Jaws is in the office because Jaws is a 115 pound pit bull, and that team can easily anything without without a problem. She can. So, um, you know, she could kill any one of us without without a problem, without question. Um, she would not be able to eat any of the three of us. Our shoulders are too wide. I mean, even if we had our arms up over our head, our shoulders completely rolled in. She's she's just not there. She would just crush us. She, oh, she, <laughs> it's not even that they crush us. So that's actually a misconception. Okay. The constrictors that they literally suffocate you to death. Mm -hmm. It's actually, they exert so much pressure that it stops the heart. Okay. So yeah. But the pounds per square is the PSI they can exert when they wrap around something, like they, even uh, larger prey, they'll pop eyes out. Like it's, it's insane. Mm -hmm. You need like a uh, wet rag or something. There's rags over there. Yeah. Where are you going, honey? Oh, fuck you. What's the, what's the battery? Yeah. Not today. <laughs> God damn, she's big. So, like, to give some perspective. Okay. Yeah. So, like, she's almost stretched across that entire tank. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hold it. Sure. She's holding it, but, you know, people are... A lot of people, especially snake people, uh, initially when I got her, because the guy that had her was very quiet, he never really put her up on the social media or anything. A lot of people were like, there's no way that snake's 20 feet. Oh yeah. It wasn't until I started doing some of the videos and people were like, oh, holy shit. I mean, yeah. No, that's like, holy, tight. Yo, oh. 
That oh. snake would have ate you. Yes, it would. E easily. Yes. That's the thing, like yes. fucking easily. That yes. snake would have ate you. All right, Weston, so give us a rundown. How many snakes approximately do you have? Um, I don't have an exact number right this second. I'm somewhere in the 130 range, I know that. Um, we've sold some recently and I just, I haven't done a full count. Um, these are all hatchlings that are all for sale. So this rack, I believe, holds 72. Yeah, I didn't want you to. Um, no, no, I didn't want you to. So, like, it's like se so there's like 70 babies in here that are for sale. This is another hatching rack. Obviously, it's empty. Um, when we uh, have eggs hatch out next year, this mm -hmm. rack will be filled up. This is the next stage for what we call holdbacks. So, all these snakes in this rack, ex well, you know, I can't say that anymore. There's, there's a couple snakes in this rack I didn't produce, like this guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to bite the towel? No, come here. Come here. That the purple snow jag? Yeah. So, I didn't produce this guy, but I'm going to make a whole bunch more of these. I'm going to breed him. Um, next year they refer to as a purple snow jaguar um, he's a multi-gene animal um, and this morph in particular is one of my favorite uh, favorite that's out there right now so I didn't produce him but most of this stuff in this rack I did produce um, including this so this is a world's only I made her earlier this year she's a platinum golden child pied tiger um, she's the only one in the world that's been produced this thus far so I'm uh, I'm pretty pretty proud of that one. Um, there was an all black one earlier. I was very upset. Midnight. Oh, yeah, she ate yesterday. She's a different species, actually. Okay. Yeah, she um, was very upset earlier. And then there's this guy. I also made him earlier this year. Oh, wow. That's referred to as a platinum pied, and he just ate yesterday. So he's he's nice and fat and happy. Yeah, everything I have in this facility. Um, with the exception of a very few snakes, is a reticulated python. It's the longest species of snake in the world, and not the heaviest. Anacondas are the heaviest species of snake in the world, but uh, reticulated pythons are the largest, hence that the TV you guys just saw. Um, but they all start out like that. And all, so how old are those ones back there? The oldest ones in this rack were born in April, were hatched out in April, so they're like eight months old now. Um, and then that? Um, like, so it, it varies really because like this guy, Two Face, he's 16 months old. Sure. But here's the thing: because he's been a picky eater. And what are you grabbing now? Grabbing a hook. So this is like an extension of my arm. Sure. It's my safety net. Yeah. So this is his brother. Holy okay. shit! That's Two Face's brother. He eats normally. So this is Bonanza. He is a five gene animal. And he is fucking huge. He was born, he hatched out in July of 2018. So he's a year and a half old. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Same age as Two-Face. Two-Face just Don't isn't like a eat. good eater. Is that so, good or bad or? It's, it's neither one. Yeah, it's, neither it's one. just the animal. Yeah, it's just the animal. Some, Every one of them is different. Some are better eaters than others. One. Um, and then, this is his sister. Again, same clutch. Oh yeah, she's huge too. Same clutch. And then this is their other sister right here. And she's kind of in between. Wow. Way different color too. Mm -hmm. She looks just like dad. Wow. That's exactly what dad looked like. So yeah, it just depends, man. It, it's all dependent on the snake. Uh, one of the ones I don't have or that, that I have that's not a python is this girl. She's been a little... This is this is midnight. She's hungry. I fed her yesterday. I gave her a wrap. So I was saying how they always yeah. mess up their stuff. I literally just did her paper today. Nice yeah. and neat. This is already messed up. Did she just, walk? That fucking snake. So this cool is an tail. eastern indigo snake. They're native to the eastern, southeastern United States. Uh, they are endangered in some states. Okay. And so in those states, it is illegal to possess them. And I used to see them all the time when I lived in Florida and I always wanted one and without a special permit you couldn't have one so when I got the opportunity to get one out here I, I jumped on the opportunity and I absolutely love this snake like to me she reminds me of a cobra and I had I kept cobras at one point in my life and she reminds me of a cobra and I just the way she moves and, and everything else I'm absolutely in love with this animal 
she's more of a pet than anything. I really just yeah. like she's not a breeder. I really just have her as a pet. Wow. So, but I have a rule. I don't keep reptiles. I, the only thing I have at home is a tortoise. I don't keep snakes at home because I end up not taking care of them the way that I normally would because they're here. If, when they're here, I'm here. Sure. And I take care of it and then I go home. If I if it's at home, it's like, ah, I'm on the couch, yeah, yeah. I'll do it later. Ah, I'm gonna do this work first. Ah, I'm gonna go hit a workout first and I just don't get it done. So sure. I don't keep snakes at home. I keep everything here. So that's midnight. And then the only other species that's in this building are the uh, Burmese pythons, which there's Apollo, which I showed you guys earlier. Mm -hmm. And then these guys that I made earlier this year. So that is what is loose in the Everglades that everyone's losing their mind over. That right there, little baby Burmese pythons. How big do they get? Oh, depending <laughs> on what they eat, I guess. Yeah, depending on what they eat. I mean, they don't get as long <laughs> as, as retics, but they found them up to, I mean, care of them 17, 18 feet long. So they still get big. And that's kind of the staging. Like it goes from here, then they go into one of these, and then they go into that, and then they'll go into a four footer over here. The size difference but as they as they get older um we just step them up cage size to cage size um they go from a four foot cage and they go to a six foot cage over here um we've got two different sizes of six foot cages you see the depth difference yes that's a bigger cage than this so these are smaller this is what i refer to as my grow up stack so these are all females and they'll all breed next year okay these are all breeder males right here so these guys are all like uh this guy's this guy's nine years old that guy down there is 14. he's four and a half down there he's got some poop in his cage but down there he's five and a half um and then you can see over here, this is, this is a bigger cage, but obviously you can see that's a bigger snake. Yeah. And same thing with, same thing with this. So, and these two females are grabbing currently. What they, does that mean? They're pregnant, essentially. So they were bred earlier this season. This girl right here doesn't belong to me. Um, she's here on a breeder loan. She's being bred. Um, I'm actually about to throw that male in, in, in with her right now. Oh. Well, here we go. Well, here we go. Get some sex on. <laughs> in the gloves. Jesus Christ. Hey. And Joe was saying earlier that sometimes if they're not happy with it. Well, if the female's not ready, they'll tail I'm talking about tail flicking. They, they, they give a couple signs. First sign, they'll start flicking their tails everywhere. Sure. Right? All around the cage. And they'll start moving a lot and they're just flicking their tail back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's not always like a, a, a definite sign though. Sometimes a female will just do that, you know, just to do it and it's just agitated. The sign that you look for that it's not good is when they start moving around, they open their vent, they'll raise their tail a little bit and open their vent and they start scent dragging around their cage. That's a very clear sign of this is my cage, my domain, get the fuck out. Like I don't want you in here. It's the next stage is they'll start moving around and throwing their body down on the male, trying to smash it. And if that doesn't work, they'll start biting. And a female of their size to a male like that, they can even bite them in half. So, yeah, it's, it's a real, and they're the only species of snake that I know of really that do that. There are species of snake like the indigos, a female will eat a male if it's not big enough. Well, after, or they'll breed and the female will eat the male. <laughs> but retakes don't do that. They won't eat them, they'll just kill each other. All right. So you always got to sit and watch and make sure that, yeah, and that's, that is the best sign. When you throw a male in and the female doesn't move. That she hasn't moved. Yeah, that's the best sign. Mm -hmm. That generally indicates that, you know, she's accepting, ready to breed, good to go. Well, what did you think? All of the snakes. All of the snakes. Holy moly, I have never seen that many snakes in one setting, let alone been around that big of snakes out of a cage. Speaking of one setting, she would have ate us in one setting. That's very true. Very true. With that, that's it. We're done. We're going to go hang out with Weston. 
-hmm. and we're gonna enjoy some dinner and some friendship and love and that is all the farther we're taking you guys yeah but we wanted to bring you along and let you just kind of see into the world of wildfire retics and what they all do if you guys are interested in reptiles and you would like to purchase some snakes he you is will, your dude he is your dude he is very informative on the whole subject I will put his information in the comments below or in the description below. Also, you can follow him on Instagram at Wildfire Redix. I know they have a very big following. He is very large in the state of Colorado for snakes themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, if you are interested, I'll put the uh, the stuff in the description below. And, and with that, it. thank that's you guys. It. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions or comments that you would like to leave some love in the comments below, please do. Hit the thumbs up if you would like to like our videos. And don't be mad at us if you don't like snakes. That's true. It was just another adventure. It was. Something that most people don't get to experience. So we were glad that we were able to bring you along. We hope you enjoyed it. If it creeped you out, we're sorry. <laughs> With that. Thanks guys. Spread love. <laughs>